change management process, governance and data quality processes, system application implementation processes, data integration and harmonization processes, and data lineage or ETL processes for data warehousing and the reporting environment. Standard domains, okay. Domain codes and decodes or permissible lists of values for a given attribute can be classified under reference data, code lists, or sometimes under metadata. For our purposes here, we classify it under metadata as this is a core part of any integration project. I'll emphasize the points on this slide. There are multiple aspects in domain management, similar to the structural and definitional metadata. Definition of domain values, typically new attributes or existing attributes that did not meet the requirements. Reconciliation mapping to existing systems, multiple techniques. Nomenclature and definition at value level. Change management process with clear ownership going forward. The project and the metadata needs to be a living entity, alive, and not one time effort to create in order for the effort to deliver ROI later. Here are a few real-world examples for domain standardization. Lowest common denominator implies taking the highest level that each system can map to. That becomes the lowest level for reporting. To the left, the standard derived from System 1 and System 2 is to pick the category which is the most inclusive or the lowest common denominator. Hence, citrus fruit is a more inclusive standard than orange. Banana and grape, well, obviously more encompassing than just grape. A simple example of decomposition where we either attach a unit of measure or harmonize all the values to one unit of measure. We have seen decomposition of one domain to three to four different standard attributes so as to be able to drill down and slice dice multiple ways. Standard domain and transformation model can be used to manage this information. Again, this has to be an ongoing alive process rather than existing point in time with designated stewards to make sure quality is maintained going forward. A 10,000 foot view of the standard layer with the rules, processes, relationships, well, we're, we're certainly still working on some of those aspects. We have talked so far about the need for a standard layer and what composes that standard layer. Let's continue now to some approach options for building it. There are two fundamental approaches here that can be adopted for a small data mart project to a large-scale ERP implementation to a pre-MDM implementation phase. The key is to retain the analysis and the standard is the residue that automatically builds as part of the process. Let me repeat that. The key is to retain the analysis and the standard is the residue that automatically builds as part of the process. Firstly, business driven. This is where we start with the to be without any as is implementation, definitions, structures, processes, and then validate against what we have, kind of like a plus view. System driven is where we analyze the systems to come up with potential option to structure, define, govern a subject area, and we validate it with the business users. You have to do both. The difference is from which point do you begin. The business user takes a top-down approach of defining the subject area in scope. It could be report requirements with each element spelt out clearly. It could be moving to the concept of a household from a customer to avoid sending the same marketing material multiple times to the same address. We can all relate to that. It could be risk assessment hierarchies to be built based on external feeds. Conversely, system analysis proceeds bottom-up. Bottom-up analysis is required as any data integration or MDM project deals with the as-is landscape. 
the to be needs to fit the as is or a modified version of as is. Both groups interact and collaborate with data architects. Here, data architects being a placeholder for data architects, but also business analysts, process analysts, and so on. A, a group that consolidates all the information and builds a solution. Metadata standardization becomes a part of the process of solution building. In this example, we are showing the process in a pre-MDM context. The organization proceeds to build the MDM solution, which may or may not be the case. Whether business or systems driven, detailed process steps are outlined below. The last two steps are the same for both approaches. Process includes preparation, analysis and definition, validation, formalization, and finally implementation. Starting points are different. So, to summarize the first four points of our webinar's agenda, we maintain that an organization will mitigate success, to perhaps understate it, unless they take on the metadata challenge. This means due diligence through metadata analysis and harmonization and keeping the knowledge by enhancing the standard layer. As a wise data steward once said, you cannot make a fruit salad by placing an apple and an orange next to each other. The benefit of the approach is enormous. As promised, we'd like to spend time looking at an actual product developed by data foundations whose mission in life, if you haven't gotten it by now, is to facilitate the management, discovery, and analysis of metadata. And since this is going to involve a live look at the product, I would very much like to introduce to you Dipali Kanduja, the Chief Architect at Data Foundations. Dipali.